Ultimo here. I'm at uh, Fort Donaldson in Tennessee, site of one of the early uh, important victories for the Union Army against the Confederate Army. Uh, this area here you can see is the Cumberland River is right behind me here. Fort Donaldson was on the river. I'm facing about due north, so if you were behind me, you'd be at uh, due north. And uh, <clears throat> there was an officer named Foote who came up with some timber clad and iron clad vessels up this river here and was the first to attack this. But prior to here, he'd been over to a place on the Tennessee River, which was kind of back behind me. Oh, I don't know about, uh, what about uh, 150 degrees? And on a clock, maybe about, uh, oh, four or five o'clock, if 12 o'clock's straight ahead of me. Anyway, they uh, there was a fort there named Hyman, and there was another fort there named Fort Henry. And those the Union troops went there first and, and took out those two forts pretty quickly. But about 2,500 troops fled from Fort Hyman to here, and they kind of hunkered down with the other troops. And first these iron-clad and timber-clad vessels came up this river here, the Cumberland. I don't know if you can see them, but this was guarded by 12 big guns, artillery weapons. And those artillery weapons came in two sizes. One was a 32 pounder, which would shoot about a 32 pound projectile about a mile. Then there's another one called a 10 incher, which would shoot a 128 pound projectile uh, several miles. <clears throat> but uh, the 32 pounder was the one that was most effective and they really did some damage on these timber clad and iron clad vessels. But while that was going on, over here in this direction, oh, maybe about half mile or so, a uh, little known soldier, a uh, little known uh, brigadier general by the name of Ulysses S. Grant was flanking the Confederate troops and uh, was pretty successful at doing that. Battle went down here between the naval vessels here on the river and Grant over on the side. Um, Confederate troops figured out pretty quick they needed to get out of here, but they were stuck, they were surrounded. They ended up surrendering. Uh, this was a really important battle because it was the first time the unions really took it took a victory over the uh, Confederate troops. And this was a key point of distribution and supply chain for the Confederacy. And once they lost that, they lost a lot of uh, ability to transport troops and weapons and what have you, food, everything. But then guess what? The Union was able to utilize that for the same reason. So this was a significant victory for the Union in this famous Civil War battle. I haven't seen anything that indicated how many troops were killed here, but I don't think it was just only a few. Anyway, Ultima out.